Hey, happy Friday. It's tea time for me. And I was thinking all day about this thing that I wanted to talk to you about. And I hope you can help me out a little bit. So this morning when I was getting ready, I was noticing my uh, gray hairs. <laughs> and when I was thinking about it, I was thinking, you know, my future self, when I'm a hundred, is going to, if if she was here right now, she'd be like, girl, you got plenty of brown left, you know? But if I was to go back in time to when I was 17, she'd be like, oh, I got a gray hair and be super critical. So I was wondering, what would I tell my 20 year old self if I could go back in time? And I'm super curious what you would tell your 20 year old self if you could go back in time because we have a ton of wisdom. I know a lot of amazing people and there is just so much genius that people don't tap into. And the thing that really concerns me is AI is coming out. So if you haven't dabbled in AI at all, it's like you punch something in and it's like the cheat notes for absolutely everything. And the thing that terrifies me about that is if everyone is just typing in to get like recycled computer info, where's the thinking coming from? Where's the intuition coming from? And there's so many people that I know that are a genius in their own right that have a ton of life experience. And so as I was computing this in my head today, I was thinking, you know, it would be really cool to hear from everyone to see what it is that if you could go back in time, three things, three things that you wish you knew when you were much younger. And I'll tell you my three just to make it fair. Sound good? Okay. So the first thing that I really wish that I knew is that thoughts can create fear. And they can also create joy, right? So you have to be super careful of what you're choosing to think about. And come on, we can't control all of our thoughts, but when your head is locked on a thought that's taking you down a scary rabbit hole, you have all the power in the world to bring it back and think about the things that are exciting and I really wish my 20 year old self knew that because I would have saved myself decades, like literally decades. The next thing I wish that my 20 year old self knew is that the two most important things, the most valuable things that I have are time and health and not to squander either and respect both because I mean, being young, I thought I had all the time in the world, right? And as time runs out on different things, it's like, oh man, I took that for granted. Or, oh man, I wish I would have done something else. Well, we only get one chance. And I wish that my 20 year old self understood that, but I'm grateful my 51 year old self has figured that out. So I'll give, I'll give my 20 year old self a little bit of a break there, right? Cause we, that's the other thing. Like, at 20, I was super hard on myself. Man, I could judge myself like no one. And at 51, you learn how to be a little bit more graceful with yourself, right? You figure out that all the little stuff doesn't matter and all the little stuff is all that matters. And it just takes time. It takes some experience. It takes some some wisdom to figure that out. And I mean, wisdom would have been wasted on the youngins anyway, right? I mean, you have to... You have to make some mistakes in order to be able to learn some lessons. So have fun. I, I probably would have told her that too, right? And that's my third point. Life is an adventure. It's not a job. It's not a race. I mean, just do what you love and enjoy every moment. So if I could go back in time, that's what I would hope my 20-year-old self would know. I really hope that you'll have some tea with me and you'll let me know what it is that you wish that you really would have figured out a little bit sooner or if you could have time traveled to you now, 
what advice would have really helped you out? And the reason I ask is because I think that there's a lot of people that are younger or maybe haven't figured out the lessons and they could use your advice. And it's, um, it's just a little bit of fun to hear it. So hope you help me out. Bye for now and have a great weekend.